Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're going to be playing Satisfactory today. We are probably going to be spending a lot of time in Satisfactory this week actually with this being the launch month for 1.0. Uh, I will get back to Minecraft uh, probably on the weekend because I do have to log in some time before we uh, talk about things on Monday. And while I think about it, uh, there's a brand new episode of the Spawn Chunks out right now that was recorded and published yesterday. And you can look forward to Johnny and I covering Minecraft Live 2024 this Saturday. That's September 28th. Uh, we will have more information coming. So follow Pixel Riffs and myself on Twitter. I'm at Joel Duggan on Twitter. And we'll announce uh, when the details of that are going to come. Uh, we are going to be broadcasting live from Pixel Riffs Twitch channel. So that's twitch.tv slash P-I-X-L Riffs, R-I-F-F-S. Uh, and that will get you to our live coverage as well. I mean, you should be following Johnny anyway. Uh, go follow Pix. Uh, but yeah, so that's coming up this weekend. And so it's going to be a busy week. We've got lots of opportunity to play Satisfactory. We've got some opportunity to cover some live stuff in Minecraft. Super Fast Blast, Jordan, Dan, Sweet Sandy. Good to see everybody. Hope you're having a good day so far. Valley, hello. We just had a quick chat on Discord this morning. Good to see you. Uh, I also saw Crosshatch kicking around. And uh, Superfast has resubbed at Tier 1 for four months. That was just a couple of minutes ago. Thanks ever so much, Superfast. I really, really appreciate the, the support. Uh, and for folks that are wondering, uh, Tier 1 subs uh, for one month and three months are 25% off for the month of September. And coming up this Thursday, there's another promo uh, with gift subs and stuff coming up. So um, you can support your favorite creators on Twitch and save a little bit of money. And we still get the same uh, the same amount, which is nice. Uh, but thank you ever so much. I really, really appreciate it. So let's dive in here. We'll load back in. We are just about to unlock the phase two of the space elevator. Don't think I need the chainsaw right now. But I left a little note on my save to check the versatile framework because we are very close to having that done. Uh, I would say that is done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not quite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have another 72 that need to be made. We're making five per minute. So I've got maybe another couple minutes, but we will slam this up as far as the steel goes and try to get this peaked out. We're going to be low on steel beams, unfortunately. Five per minute. I wonder if it would be worth overclocking this with a power shard. Let's try that. We've got the spare power. Why not? Uh, storm dance. What's around 15 minutes? Oh, the, the math on things coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's grab one of these. I wish you could do the thing uh, like you could in Minecraft where you can just grab one. That would be cool. You have to split them. Like a couple extra clicks. It's not the end of the world. I guess I could just grab three, couldn't I? Again, should have been doing this from the start. Well, I guess we didn't have access to it from the start. Uh, so that's 12.5 per minute, and that's going to only take like seven minutes. Okay. <clears throat> Dolara, hello. Satisfactory bug is still strong, 100%. Uh, smart plating, we are doing much better. So we are at 320, which is a little over a third of the way there. I would like to increase this. I should probably do the same thing with the power shards here because I feel like we are able to keep up. So let's do that. I don't know why I didn't think about this sooner. I'll just have to remember that I've put these power shards in here. We certainly have the resources for all of this. We're going to tear out the, um, 
the power, the um, <clears throat> the old bio biogens today too. Five per minute, and we have another. We'll say seven hundred. Hundred and forty minutes. That's still over an hour. Oh, it was over two hours. <clears throat> so we are going to do um, once these versatile frameworks uh, are done. We are going to uh, repurpose that other assembler, and uh, we'll get there. Yeah, this is not going to take very long at all. Did that spin? That that this spun. We should probably. This, although we get seal being made, so that'll be good. We'll we'll catch up pretty quick. What we'll end up doing is just looping this around to here. Matter of fact, I'll set that up now. So I know it's coming. And if we are starting to ramp this up, this is now doing five per minute. Did these, I think these updated, right? Five rotors per minute and five steel plates per minute. What are we doing for rotors? We are making four, so that's fine. We'll eventually get a little bit of a slowdown. That's fine. Uh, I was on last night getting all of my copper constructors nicely lined and belted, nice. Uh, using uh, the spinning as a known bug. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Did anybody watch the developer? Was there a developer hangout this morning? I didn't see it. I was watching Total Eclipse and I had other work to do. Yes, we're going to be looking at the blueprint designer. We're going to be looking at logistics floors, all kinds of good stuff. So I do feel like we are ready to get rid of these biomass burners because our power is a good... 300 megawatts below where we need it to be uh, or above where we need it to be and I can expand it quite easily now so uh, we've already changed this into a cable machine that's good we'll leave that like that uh, this is empty make sure I have the inventory space for this I do We'll have lots of biomass because these are all full. If you're ever trying to delete something and you're like, why isn't it working? There's a really good chance that you hit the R key by accident and change your dismantle tool to blueprint dismantle. And if you don't have, <laughs> if you don't have blueprints available, then you're like, what, like, what did I even do? It's weird that you can dismantle blueprints without, um, without having access to blueprints. I mean, we do now, but I've done it before when it wasn't a thing. I'm going to move all of my bio stuff into the hub. We don't use it that often. And that should be enough for the chainsaw for a while too. Cool. Okay. Uh, I may have disconnected some power here. No, it looks like these were all except for this one. You're connected. So it's just you and these ones. And you should be connected over this way. Yeah. Okay. 
So we don't really have a main power line right now. Our main power actually comes into the to the factory over here. Normally I try to keep kind of tabs on where the main power is coming from. But right here is the main line. We should probably make that a little bit nicer. Or at least more obvious. So much more room down here now. Are we done? So close. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight more. Oh, glad I checked. You make a blueprint, it is several different parts in it. You can, when placed, delete one bit at a time or choose to delete the full blueprint. Oh yeah. Um, oh, that's for Storm Dance. How does blue blueprint dismantle work? Uh, yeah, so I don't have any blueprints right now. Can I even make the blueprint designer? I can. I need steel. <laughs> um, I'll show you actually, I'm gonna make some foundations. We'll get into the bl blueprint designer today. As long as I can get to changing the smelting, then we'll get to the blueprint designer today. Yeah, instead of just selecting the one part at a time, it'll actually let you dismantle the entire blueprint, which could be very handy if your blueprint has got like a hundred parts in it. Soon to be at 5.2 where I'm, uh, I am and I have little to no idea what to do. We are going to be on 5.1, I think. Uh, that's it. I think we're done. Could turn you off. I'm gonna need more space. Does anybody see a weird kind of like exposure change when I'm in UI? I feel like every now and again, um, I get like a strange. Like when I turn around to something like sunlight, it's like overexposed. It's sort of like when you come in and out of the, the dark in a cave. Um, I guess I should just take those. This is going to take a couple trips unless I can ditch some stuff. I don't know if it's a game feature or whether it's because I've got my graphics so low. That's going to be full, isn't it? All right, well, solution to that is very simple. We are really going to have to get organized with our storage soon. I don't know if we even need those right now. Hook up our steel so it doesn't get backed up. What are these producing at? 15 per minute. Okay. We'll run these over quickly. Did I have enough? Should be a good. If I'm eight short, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> so for now, we're putting these in manually. Eventually, you can hook things up to just go straight into the machine. Complete with none left over. Really? Did I have exactly a thousand? I just sworn I had some left over. So now it's just the thousand smart plating. And so what we're going to do is uh, we are going to recondition this to smart plating. 
we'll put in the same things there. And this is going to, instead of go there, we're just going to hook this up here. Oh, that's the out. Uh, let's fix that then. Oh, we've got two of these. Maybe I don't need to do... Take one of these back, maybe? Do a merger. It's still only going to be 15. So now we've got all of these doing smart plating. I'm gonna go get two more. Two more? Three more. Dad from Bear subscribing at tier one. 25 months. That's amazing. Thanks so much. I really appreciate the support. Yeah, they've definitely changed the hitboxes on buildings. It's a lot harder to walk up to something and um, get in there. So now this needs five rotors and five iron plates. We should be sending all of the iron plates to this setup, which we are not. Uh, that's getting iron plates, that's getting iron plates, that's getting iron plates. Rotors are the things that are not being split. So I can remove that and I need to triple split rotors. Not so straight, but should be okay. Uh, but we need 15 rotors, I think, per minute. Yep. And we are not doing that. We are only doing four, I want to say. Yep. Kind of brute forcing this. <clears throat> so now we need 40 rods per minute and 200 screws. Rods are 15 and 30. And screws are just this one. No, so rods are only 15. We'll need to do more rods. That's all my power shards though, so we're kind of stuck. Well, I can make more. I've got some I've got some slugs. Love your Minecraft, but loving the change of scenery also. Thanks very much, Dad from Bear. I really appreciate it. I like switching things up. I don't I don't want to be playing Minecraft for the rest of my life. Like I want to be able to move to other games. And I should say move back and forth. Like I really I really like Minecraft. And obviously the spawn chunks is like a huge part of my my job and my career and all that stuff, but I um, I really do enjoy Satisfactory. <clears throat> so some of this stuff, what are you guys doing? You guys are just doing... You're sitting here doing nothing. Awesome. We can just... Uh... 
That's an in, that's an in, that's the out, that's the out here. So we can take this and get you over to here. Can I get 200 screws in a belt? Yes, I can. So I just need to merge. Oh, that's easy. We just need to merge you up there. was that okay so you are doing 40 40 so that's 80 that's a 120 so then this is going to be 120 this is going to be a 120 you've got to be a 120 and then you are One forty forty. So that's totally one twenty. So then this should be a one twenty. Won't matter if we're a little bit slow. Uh this is gonna be one twenty. But then this little guy has gotta be a two forty. Now it's just the iron rods that's slow. But we can fix that. Well, I just put another 80 screws. That's 80, 120. What's this making? So we're at 180, not quite what we need to be but we seem to be doing okay. So it's the rods that are slow. Uh, and all of these rods are being made into screws. Where are these rods going? They are going nowhere. Problem solved. They are gonna connect up to that right now. Uh, let's grab you. So it's this guy right here. These two actually. So we can turn this around. 30. And send this back over this way. Where was that? There it is, there. So that'll be 30 plus the 15 that we're making. That'll be up to 45. That's not quite what we need, I don't think. Oh, that's a little bit more. Perfect. All right, so that should catch up. Uh, what we can do is top it up with some rods. Make sure all of this is going. And already we are in much better shape. 
So one, two, three, four, almost halfway now. And if these are all operating at 100%, that's at half. And that's at half. So let's just say we're doing five, doing 10 per minute. And then we've got another 550 to go. So it's less than an hour. I'm okay with that. All right. That I feel is about as slick as I can. What is going on with this blue thing on my screen? Anybody else see that? That power pole is still connected. That's weird. Huh. Never seen gotten into trains. I've just recently started using the track stations. Truck stations. Yeah. Trains are much better. Uh, they're much easier to... There's more math, but they're much easier to control. They're cooler looking, too. They move a lot more material, which is also nice. Alright, let's go see where we are at with our steel. Are we catching up a little bit? Yeah, okay, cool. And I don't want to get rid of anything that I've got right now, I guess. We should, um, I could sink some stuff, but I also don't want to uh, miss out on any potential uh, handcrafting things in the next tier, and I don't remember what's in the next tier. All of this can go. Which means you are no longer required. we need anything from that. I can probably put the space ele elevator parts in here. I do actually have a lot of stuff. I didn't realize I had this much. We just need to get a little bit more organized, I think. It might be time to stop storing everything in one big bin and start to do some temporary maneuvering. Where would be a good place for storage? I guess maybe since we've just deleted our, our power, we can maybe put it there. More spaghetti? The answer in the early game is always more spaghetti. The answer is always more spaghetti. Yeah, you know what? We could probably start to do some basic storage, like in this area here. And then I could hook up that. Because this, I think, was what we decided was the middle of this area. Also, I think I'm going to skip doing all those impure nodes out there. I think I'm just going to focus on these three and just get 900 iron going. I feel like that's probably the best course. Um, so actually having some storage here might be a good way to temporarily get that building started and start to organize along this axis. So let's just call that the middle. And then we'll start to... What do we have for different parts here? Uh, one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, probably sixteen bins. I guess we could do steel and like all steel in one.
that the wrong way around? Wrong way around. Do I have like a caution yellow? I don't really have a caution yellow swatch. fit one more yeah and we'll probably start with the basics we'll go plates rods screws uh, reinforced iron plates those guys and then we'll do Steel beams and steel pipes. Then we'll do reinforced. Actually, we'll put those in there with the steel. And then we'll do rotors. Then we'll do that there. And then on this side, we can do copper. Oh, not without plates and rods, I won't. So this is just going to be a temporary situation here. Uh, do they all have... I've probably put them all facing the wrong way, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, we'll correct it on this side and fix it later. I flipped it correctly for the... Um, Awesome sink. Yeah. yeah, these should all be the other way around. Again, uh, plates, rods, screws. Uh, what did I do? Reinforce iron plates? Reinforce iron plates. Maybe we'll do rotors. And then those. And then steel will go all in the same one. And then up here we can do wire, cable, do sheets. Probably should have done concrete first. No, concrete have got their own things. Yeah, let's do that. Concrete. Wire. Cable. Sheets. And then quick wire? And then we've got three extra? Sure. Our inventory is now big enough that we can take a whole bin down, which is great. I don't think I have signs yet. If I do, we will definitely be utilizing them. One thing you can do in the meantime, as a fun trick, is just use, um, oops, if you just have like a little bit of a belt here, you need 
rods. It used to be a lot easier. You could do this a lot shorter before. Oh, concrete. So then the item will come out and you will be able to see it. But I think I've got access to signs now. Uh, Bally, I tried to change my sub from one month to three months to take advantage of the discount, but Twitch wouldn't let me. Ooh, sorry to hear that. Uh, I really appreciate the thought. Um, hmm. Uh, is something going on with subbing? Says zero. I get a message about my sub, but sharing doesn't work. Uh, you sub for six months, zero? I don't see it. Did you do it before? It wasn't today. I don't see the notification. Yeah, I might, I might have signs. I haven't even looked. I probably do. I think I have the tickets. I just haven't unlocked them. Might be a good time to do that, actually. Yeah, we can grab at least... I think we'll grab that one. I don't need the billboards. I, those are expensive anyway. I don't remember what those cost to make. But I feel like this is... Pro oh, there we go. That's doable. Yeah. We'll do that instead. Where did you leave your lizard doggos? What's in this storage container? Where did you put the essential components needed to save humanity? Do you wish there was tax to prevent you from constantly taking the wrong turn? Disguise your struggles to comprehend the complexity of your surroundings with signs. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Fun. So we will grab our quartz over here. Well, that's another thing. We need to put quartz in a, in a bin, too. Quartz and silica can all go in its own thing. I guess that's after the quick wire. I'll need those. So these nicely snap to your bins. And a nice way to do it is to go in here and select the sign and then change the layout. I am just going to go with just the image and then we can select the icon and just go plates and then we're doing transformers stuff. Let's see if maybe... I wonder if the red Autobot would look good. We can even turn it matte if we want. Or off for emission strength. I'm okay with that. That looks kind of fun. So then we can just uh, click the signs. And then you can use copy paste which seems to be working now since I restarted the game. And then we just change the icon. These are screws. I think it's funny that I, I guess we'll leave them red. They're blue bins, but I made them red <laughs> for some reason. Well. Maybe it'll look better blue. Hold on. Let's try a blue. And these are reinforced plates, I think.
What do we like better? Blue. Can Can VRC. Hello, welcome in. Are you Canadian? The spaghetti is getting deleted today. It's not it's not too shabby. We're doing okay. Red pops more. Fair. Red usually does. Oh, we're getting there now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So another four hundred. And these are still only at half. Probably the I guess it's the rotors. Probably the bottleneck. Yeah. Because we're only making... We're only making four. I didn't have the extra power shard. We're only making eight. I need to be making like 15 or something. It's a good opportunity to do this in the dark, but I think you're right. I think we'll go with red for fun. It's all temporary anyway. This one will actually change. The garbage bin. This is steel. Frames. Oh crap! I really they put they put some of the UI in odd places. Like it's, I feel like there should be like a confirm button, but it isn't. It's up here. I hope this is not in the way of what will eventually be my smelting factory. Okay, so that's all set up. My trip media with 100 bits in the lurk. Thank you ever so much. Really appreciate it. Folks, if you'd like, if... Uh, Twitch uh, subs are not something that's in your wheelhouse, then check out Patreon. It's uh, patreon.com slash Joel Duggan, and it is $2 a month, less than a cup of coffee, to help support me here on Twitch. And on other things I do too, like podcasting. Stuff. The Citadel Cafe has its own Patreon for people that are interested in that. I need to do a couple of patron hangouts with the Citadel Cafe. We've got some major changes coming to Patreon for both my personal account and for the um, the podcast that we need to address. That is concrete. Cable. No, wire. Cable. Copper sheets. Quick wire. Ports. And then these are empty. So let's just do nothing for this. Excellent.
Now we can just double check our smart plating. Probably close to 700 by now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, almost. So some of this stuff I can probably stop from being fed. So we can stop this and also stop this. And that should be good. Oh, I forgot about staters. Uh, I guess I'll go down here. The miscellaneous. I probably should have let these have some light. Because even in... Without the sun, it's even a little bit dark to see. Now I feel like I'm playing Minecraft. <laughs> Running around to different chests, putting stuff in. I don't think we have access to smart splitters yet either. I think that's next. We've got a lot of these, um, first, uh, not for cell frameworks, these um, modular frames now. Great. seem to have a lot of cable so maybe I'll put some of this in our little cable machine over here Officially need another bin for plates. I'm sure we won't once we start building more stuff. Now, is that all my storage over here? I think that's most of it. This is just going up to the depot. That's not hooked up, I don't think. Mm -mm -mm. No. Let's steal. So it doesn't take too long to get to get up to speed with a, a very simple storage system. Signs really help, for sure. 
Can you call it spaghetti if it's only one noodle? I don't know. I have no idea what smart splitters do. Please don't tell me or else it sounds like I will want them. <laughs> uh, I will refrain if you do not want to know. Uh, but if you do, I can I can fill you in. They're very helpful. Right, Storm Dance? Yeah, it makes things a lot easier. All right, so we have a dedicated concrete bin there. What I think I should do is um, move this to that concrete bin and then have our concrete go directly up into cloud storage. And our transfer rate is only 15 per minute, so it really doesn't matter. We'll just use the regular plates. So that will upload slowly to void storage. This is tricky. There we go. So you can see now in our inventory, we've got slowly ticking up having concrete in there. So now that we've got that sorted, I don't think I have any other bins around outside of these two down here. should have done another one of these as well. Let's put those in there and we'll put these over here. Nope, oh, these are beam. Not exactly the most logical order, but not bad. And then what I can do with this is just redirect it right into the bin for now so that we can build these up. The reason why I want to build these up is because uh, we are going to need them for trains. Needed anymore. That's our cable. This is just making stuff for sake of making stuff right now. We could have that fill the cable. And then where are these guys going? Oh, this is all going over to stitched plates, right? Are we making enough for that? 30? 60? We are? Or we're not and it's slow. Either way. Gonna work in. So let's do that then. Uh, that's out, that's in.
that will just feed in for cable. Sweet. Got that automated for now. So excited to get to trains. I may save, but a little bit behind where we are right now. Or in my save, I'm a little bit behind where we are right now. Very cool. So we're at almost 800 now. So we are definitely going to be unlocking phase two. Um, I thought I was going to try to get it done before my first break, but it might be just after that, and that's fine. In the meantime, I want to create a little bit of a list here. What do I have on my list? Don't need more generators, or do I? Look into compacted coal, more power slugs, 300 quick wire. Because that will get us to. Yeah, so I need 100 quick wire there. 200 quick wire there. And then I don't know what's in the AI limiter. Does anybody know? I guess I could look it up on the internet. I'm probably going to need more quick wire for that. Let's just check. Ah, uh, they do take quick wire. Um, 20 quick wire for one AI limiter. And so... We'll need another 200 quick wire. That's 500 quick wire. We'll say 300 and 200 quick wire. Terminator, thanks very much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Stream is at an hour, so break now. Yeah, I should break now because I think by the time we get back, that smart plating will be done. That was an OSHA violation. I say OSHA, that's not what we have in Canada. <laughs> it's something else entirely. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's only 200 left to go. It's another... 20 minutes. Cool. Folks, I'm going to go on a break. I do this once an hour. It gives me a chance to grab another cup of coffee, uh, grab a glass of water, that kind of thing. You should too. In the meantime, you can uh, behold our sort of more organized mess um, moving along. It's feeling a little bit tidier, a little bit more purpose. I feel like I've built this in the wrong spot. Um, we are going to probably have to quickly move it, but that's fine. It'll be easy enough to to move, I needed to kind of uh, get a lot of things out of here and having the storage constantly build up in random was not helping at all. Anyway, so uh, give me, uh, I don't know, five or seven minutes. I'll be right back.
hear the moth. Where'd it go? Well, there it is, right there. Have to remember not to build too high right here because you'll end up clipping through. It is indeed a perfect time for snack breaks, for my stream breaks. I had a big lunch, so I didn't didn't grab anything for myself, but certainly encourage everyone else to. So that's 850. We're almost uh, almost to 900. Got a timer for 10 minutes, folks. We'll check back in 10, see where we are. I don't think I need... I guess I can keep this here just in case I need it. Right. That actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Now, I just need to make sure I have a couple stacks of everything. We're close to it. Just so I'm not stuck trying to build something and not being able to. Have those. Don't need that just yet. Is there anything else along here? Those are both being used. I think everything else along here is now being used. Yeah. It's all part of the production for the smart plating. So it's just the copper stuff. The sheets are probably not going anywhere. We're not making sheets at all. It's fine. Okay. Well, while we're waiting for these smart plates, I can go over my plans for the um can go over my plans for the smelting, which will happen down here with these three nodes. So I think I mentioned before that I was thinking about getting the impure nodes from around as well. So in this area, we've got these three normal nodes, but then I've got two impure up here, another four impure over there, and another two impure here. And they're just not worth the hassle, I find. We do have a couple of um, nodes down here that are normal, but they're quite far away. So if we really get short on iron for something specific, we can tap into these, or we can set up a new facility down here for something else. Um, we're going to be using a lot of iron because I'm going to go with um, iron-only rotors and uh, and probably even motors. So we will probably utilize a lot of the iron in the area. Um, dismantle crate somewhere. And the math that I had on that Previously was a lot more. We were looking at 1380, but instead now we're just going to do the math for the 300, the 900. So smelters only need. We only need 30 smelters, and so that'll be an output of 30 iron. Um, I think it's per minute. And 
And the way I think I might work this is having these guys be the three normals. So have that come out and then we can combine them. So this will be Mark two overclocked uh, to 250%. which is going to be 300 ore per minute, which we can't actually handle until we get Mark IV belts. Um, let's go with... And that will go into the smelters. We'll need 30 smelters. Probably three rows of 10. Um, so that's iron or per minute in. And 30 iron ingots per minute out. So that means it's going to be another 900. Or, in this case, because we don't have the belt speed, it would be on three belts. So does that make sense, everybody? Hopefully that makes sense. So each normal node will be overclocked to 250%, which means instead of 120, it's going to be pumping out 300 each. Uh, we're going to bring them all in. Uh, really, I guess this could be... This is more like a, an overview. And this can just get bumped over here. like that and what I like to do uh, in these kind of um, I guess diagrams is I'll do a little here like little indicator here oops and then we can make these columns shorter I just find it makes it a little bit easier to see what's going on. Oh, not 10. 10 is too small. Maybe 50? Sure. And then these will just go off to different products. So that's the first plan for the iron, anyway. Does that make sense, everybody? Ten minutes is gone. Thanks for the heads up, Dan. Appreciate that. That worked out perfectly. Snugly, hey, how's it going? You're having a good day. Uh, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine forty-two. So fifty percent, fifty percent. So we're making seven and a half per minute. We need another fifty-five. So another five or seven minutes. Thanks for being awesome, Sandy. Appreciate it. So in the meantime, what I should do is maybe look up the blueprint designer and we can explore a little bit about what I want to do. Uh, we've got 30 smelters to lay out. This is what four of them look like. So we're going to be doing... I don't know whether to do two rows of 15 or whether I should do three rows... three. Floors of 10? I feel like three floors would be better. So, if we have a smelter. I think we established before that I could put 10 across here or close to it. Not a lot of room for design though. Yeah, so we could do five, six, eight, yeah. We could space them out and do one per per foundation. So that would be five, and then we just have to do that six times. But I like the idea, I think, of maybe turning them sideways. And maybe we could do them in chunks. If we did them this way, we could do like five and then five and call that 10 and then have like a walkway and then do five and five and then do five and five. And then if we needed to, we could expand above that. That's probably the best way to do it. Three floors of 10. Yeah, I think for the now, I'm not going to get into too much height because I don't know how high my train tracks are going to be just yet. Yeah, room to grow. I think that's that's the thing. I don't want to just make a, a small building. So we could always add another floor if we needed to. Um, so we'll plan on just a floor. I don't think I need to have it any start any higher than this. I feel like this is already on the world grid. Or is it? I feel like I've somehow... I don't know why this snaps lower. Oh, because I would have started over here. That's right. I guess we're on the right. Yeah, I guess we're on the right spot. Okay, so that's good. We can start with here. Now, I won't build right on this. I'm going to be adding a logistics floor. So let's throw down a blueprint designer and maybe we'll take a look at doing our first blueprint. What do I need for that? Once you have built a satisfactory blueprint, interact with the blueprint designer terminal to save it. It will then be available in the blueprints tab of your build menu. Blueprints can always be edited to correct mistakes or optimize. If you find yourself struggling to work within the set size restrictions, remember that this is a you problem and efficiency can always be improved. <laughs> if you find this too small, we've added one later. It was part of the announcement features. You should not complain. 
Where is the number two? I think phase two is in... I think it's in phase two. Yeah, can can. It's uh, it's pretty funny. So somebody earlier was asking about blueprints, and one of the things we can do, we can do a new blueprint, and let's just call it. Um, we'll make foundations. I guess I can probably build something first. I don't have any like it's not remembering my blueprints from my other save, so I have to start over again. But what, whatever you build in this space, you can save. So for example, let's just build some foundations because this is a really good way to make things go a little bit faster. Go with a one meter foundation and we'll put it in the middle and we're just gonna go there, two, three, four. So this right now is a four by four uh, foundation space, but we'll call this like a one by four foundation. So description, um, I guess we'll just call it the same. Uh, we will select the icon. It's that. Select the color, let's go with our gray. And set directory. I think we have to do this first. Foundations. Uh, I'm not sure what you'd want. I guess the house. Sure. I don't want to remove the category. I guess you still have to okay, add a subcategory. Oh, there we go. Subcategory. Um, one meter foundations. Add the blueprint here. Apply the changes. And then save the blueprint. So now, I think they've improved this. When you're in your build menu, which is your tab key, you can go to blueprints and then under foundations, I have this. And now I can put this down as one big thing. Don't know why it's red. Building in blueprint mode can further optimize your construction process with snapping and quick dismantling options. Build modes are not just there to make your work easier. They compensate for inevitable human error. <laughs> Fixit understands humanity like no other, and humanity needs you to be efficient and productive at all times. The save on the blueprints is not easy to understand, Sandy. You're right. It's really, it's a little bit confusing. It's more convoluted than it needs to be. They also have this default, like, I don't think you can get rid of this undefined thing, right? Like, you can't. It just, that's where, that, if you try to save a blueprint, you can't find it later, it's probably here in Undefined. But at least with the foundations, you can, um, you can use this. Now, someone was asking earlier the difference between Dismantle Mode and Dismantle Blueprint Mode. So if I go into Dismantle Mode, you'll notice I can delete any one of these just like that. No problem, right? Uh, but if I want to just dismantle the entire blueprint, then I hit R. And now it's selecting the whole thing as a blueprint because it knows that it's a four by one blueprint, right? So I can erase that and we're good. And then over here, you can clear the blueprint designer. And now I think I should be able to put in 
this. And this should now snap. I hold control. Not not snapping. I gotta change my blueprint thing. I didn't realize that my blueprint color was red. Is that what I have it down as? Hard clearance. Yeah, it's really strange. Does it, it? It looks like it's red to me. When I'm placing it, it's hard to see from down here. Yeah, like why is it pink? There's no hard clearance. That should be that should be my regular white. Not red. Anyway, so I filled this now with um four of the four by ones, so I can go ahead and save this now again and do four by four one meter foundations. And we'll just copy that over. Set directory foundations. Uh, actually, before you do that, this is the thing that I find really confusing. The set directory should be at the bottom, like the select the icon thing. And then the color should happen before you do the foundations. Uh, now we set directory. We'll add it here. And then we'll say save the blueprint. So now if you're out building platforms for certain, certain things, you can just go ahead and grab this. And now you can plop down like a giant a giant thing. Yeah, it's not it's not changing at all. It's just always saying Yeah, that's that's red. Like that's the clearance thing. And then it's just showing me weird pink overlay. I don't know. Oh, could it be that way because we're building with things from the storage thingy? That could be it. It could be a purple overlay maybe maybe it's more like a magenta overlay because i'm building let's take from my inventory first and see if that changes it you're probably right sandy that's a really good call you're probably right blueprints nope still pink that would have made sense though that would have made sense No more ideas. Yeah, I'm lost too. I really don't. I really don't know. Uh, anyway, one of the things we can do in the blueprint designer is more than just foundations. You can do um, you can do complicated machines and layouts. So that's what we're going to do for our smeltery. We're going to do all the belt work and everything in there, and then only have to connect them up later. So I can do modules of five, which should be fantastic. But this should be either done or very close to it. Yay! I think we're good. I'm just going to let those finish up and then we'll put the rest in the awesome sink. First, I want to see if this actually has more spe space elevator stuff. Uh, I should save this right now before I do anything else. I have looked up when I send the space elevator, yeah. We're gonna do it again though. 
Welcome to the Project Assembly Pioneer Progress Presentation. Congratulations, the Phase 2 project part shipment is now ready for delivery. On delivery, Phase 2 will be completed and the construction dock will be constructed. After completion of Phase 2, the technologies of Tiers 5 and 6 Yay. will become available in the hub. These might feel intimidating after your previous experience, but rest assured that you would not be here if you were entirely incompetent. Hmm? Highlights are oil production, railway transportation, the jetpack, and many more. Completing Phase 3 of Project Assembly is your next main objective. Just remember to focus on producing and delivering the project parts, and fix its faith in you will be strengthened. So, first thing we got to remember is get that versatile framework back up and running. I think. Oh. But, just kind of came out of nowhere. Wasn't there a second ago. It's a hazy day, we can't see the actual parts, which is too bad. Unless they're gonna clear the weather and show us. Oh, it is, okay, cool. Smart, I'm glad they did that. Phase two of project assembly completed. You have been performing more adequately under pressure and are closer than ever to saving the day. Perhaps you were the right choice for the job. Time will tell. You will now enter phase three of project assembly. Continue as you are, and there should be no issue. For humanity, for fix it. Cool. I like that it's animated too. Take a screenshot here. Nice. So, next phase. 2500 versatile framework, modular engines, and adaptive control units. I don't remember what those involve. So, adaptive, I think, are smart plates. Or we have to unlock those, maybe, in the, um, the hub. The assembly animation is very cool, uh... San. How do I say your your second half of your username? Is it is it a jeep or a jeep? And thanks for the lurk. I really appreciate it. An orbital elevator. That's so awesome. Yeah, this is that's the um, the space elevator, and then that's the project assembly is what they call the top part. Uh, so now we can unlock tier five. Jetpack is going to come in very handy. We have to do motors. Oil processing. That is going to be high on the list. Circuit boards we're going to need for computers. This is where I need to go. Oh, it needs rubber. We're going to have to find oil quickly then. Packager. Petroleum power. Uh, manufacturers, plastic. Glad we kept heavy modular frames. Trains are definitely a little ways away. Motors and rubber, I think, are our main focus next. So, tier five. Don't think the jet the pack. Well, we might need it for traveling around. Do we do jetpack or we do logistics? Well, jetpack could definitely come before logistics because I think we can make the motors locally. The motors are, yeah, we can even... Stators and rotors. I think we do jetpack first. Because I think the jetpack will help us as we sort out what we need to do for... Um, For rubber. Um, motors are doable, obnoxious but doable, yeah. I didn't see the adaptive control units anywhere in here. Do those unlock along here? 
No. There they are. So they're in tier six, so we can't even see the recipe for those. Modular engine. I mean, I could look it up on the wiki. I could look it up on the wiki. I'm just trying to figure out what we need to, like, do we need to keep the smart plating going? Because that might be something I don't want to turn off. Uh, oh, no smart plating. Okay. That's good. Uh, modular engine. Smart plating in the modular engine. So I'm not going to turn the smart plating off just yet. We're going to leave that going. So motors are definitely how we need to go forward. And those are rotors and stators. However, we can eliminate some stuff here. Because rotors, we have the option, I think, to make out of steel. I'm pretty sure I have the steel rotor alternate recipe. And then for stators, we have iron wire. So I can use steel and iron wire and eliminate copper from that as well. So that's going to be cool. All right. So we leave the smart plating going, but we have to get versatile framework back up and running. So you can do that. And I don't think we'll use all of you. I think we'll put this back to modular frames. And automated wiring was the other thing I needed to do. Stators and cable. By the way, I have a question. Can you set your custom color as default color for any upcoming building like preset swatch or is it a bug I missed something? No, you can. Uh, they don't ex They don't explain it to you, which sucks. Uh, under tab, you go to customizer and then any swatch that you have here, including the custom swatch, I think. No, it's only, yeah. So you can't do it on the custom one, but any of these that you right click on, you can choose standard vehicles, fix it foundations, concrete foundations, pipes, coated foundations, or concrete walls. And you can switch this back and forth. So if I wanted to make everything I'm doing blue or everything I do the fix it normal thing, you can switch them back and forth. Right? So if I choose something really outlandish like pink and I say standard, now when I go up here, standard is unchecked, right? And so now if I go to build something like a constructor, I mean, it's going to be hard to tell because it's dark. But if I grab a constructor, it's now pink by default. So really like found concrete um, structure that's the like concrete foundations and stuff and that's just that standard kind of like white color it's now beautiful by default All right, so motors and we get versatile frame not versatile framework um, yeah Steel again. I guess I could just do that down there. I'm trying to remember what that actually involves. I think it's rods. Reinforced plates and rods. And this is getting reinforced plates and rotors at the moment. And that's fine. Uh, we can 
eliminate that. Put in... What's that? That's plates. And now I just need to get a little bit of rod action happening. Are these guys making more than they're putting out? I think they are. Yeah. Are these guys backed up too? Yes. So I could probably take from here. add that to that other one. Now it has to get all the way over to here. That's a little crisscrossy, but that's fine. This is slick. I like that it kind of scoots underneath the, the canopy there, but obviously we've got a little bit of a clipping issue here, but this is all temporary anyway. All right, now we just change the output. Uh, this is going to make now modular frames. Uh, I don't need those in there. Two per minute. And I guess we'll just take it back down here for more versatile framework, right? I guess I shouldn't have deleted that, but... Here we are. Oh, no, that's a hypertube. Accidental hypertube. <laughs> Second time. So then this will just squirrel around again. Now I'm making those. This just needs power. Versatile framework, 2.5 per minute and 30 per minute. We are making not quite 30 and not quite there. That's fine. We'll just put that into a bin again so that at least is happening slowly. Look at that. Almost as if I planned it. Let's do blue for the space elevator parts. So now we've got smart plating and versatile framework. Again, that's just going to be slow. So now the next thing, I guess, is to look at motors. But for that, I think we really need to start to think about where we're going to do our smelting and organize that. I think it'll be a little bit easier to move forward with that. And those motors are in assemblers, right? Yep, 
So rotors, we'll use the alt recipe for rotors, and then we'll use that for stators. So we're going to need to do those near steel. We also have the alt for steel, which is the solid steel ingot. So under my hard drive library, we have iron wire, which we're going to use. We have the steel rotor, which we're going to use because it eliminates screws. Um, so we still have to use coal, unfortunately. We don't have the iron pipe yet. That's what I really want to find. So I think maybe what we need to do is go look for some hard drives and see if I can't get that iron pipe. Before I start unlocking these, um, by having these here in the library, we have the opportunity to um, narrow what we might get as a roll. So I think a hard drive search is probably the best thing that we should do. Um, what I'm wondering though, I think the jetpack uses alternate fuel beyond just gas. So I might be able to make, how long does it take a mega motor? Eh. I don't know if I have enough stators. Because I could 100% handcraft our way into a jetpack right now, I think, if I have enough stators. Which I don't think I do. Real close. Real close. We should do... We should do staters while I'm on break. So steel pipe and wire. iron pipe but it I uh, did not use it to take so much more iron than using solid steel 50% more says will run for fun did I have the solid steel I think I did yeah so two iron ingots and two coal for three steel ingots but the iron pipe I don't think we have we don't have that. I can look it up on the wiki, though. So it's 20 iron ingots to 5 steel pipes. This is 3 ingots to 2... Three to two, 20 to five, yeah. So it does take up, It you don't need to use the coal anymore, but it does take up a lot more iron. We've got tons of iron though. It's the kind of thing that I would be fine with putting like a bunch of impure nodes together on a steel factory. Looked at my calculations again. My five per minute motor factory used 127 iron and 50 coal. Iron pipes for the same factory was over 300 iron. Okay. So you're saying that it'd be better to go with the steel, the solid steel ingot and still use traditional steel pipes. If I want to save that iron, I have the iron somewhere. It's not hard to find. So I think, first things first, we need to get this smelter up and going. So what did I say? It was a base, base of five. You had the coal? Yeah, we've got coal too. And our coal is separate from our power coal. We've got a truck station right over there. You can actually just see it. That's the truck station bringing in the coal. And so that's not part of our power grid at all. That's completely separate. Speaking of the power grid, how are we doing? 
Uh, we're good. So... I want to build... How do I want to do this? I don't think it matters what side you put it on. It just ends up doing... Um, thing that you want. So I can pretend that this is the floor and we can build up from there. So if I want to do... something that's got a certain height to it, right? We want to do a logistics floor. Usually I want to say six meter clearance is good. So that's four and that's two to six. So then your next floor is that. Uh, I sometimes do it as low as this. And what that means is that we can put things like our splitters in this space. And we can still hook them up to floor holes. But it doesn't give you a lot of room to go up and over. Oh, why is that connecting there? That's weird. Right? So you can do stuff like that and then have your machines up there. But that does not give us much room to go up and over if we need to. Depending on the item, that may not be enough room. If we ever needed to do that, it's a little tight. So by going up that extra bit, Gives us a little bit more room to have even another splitter comfortably because uh, down below the other splitter po pokes through i think not quite it must have fixed the z fighting on that but it doesn't look the best so i think for the sake of an experiment i might go with a six meter floor like that. Um, normally I try to work in increments of four meters just because it makes it easier. Um, which we still could still do because if this floor piece is a two meter floor, then that gets us up to there. Um, but this doesn't have to be that. That could be... We can go with a an eight meter. No. Four... So that's three, that's seven meters then. Stream is over two hours. Yes, thank you. So what do we think? Do we go with a seven meter or do we go with a six meter? I guess it doesn't matter as long as we stay on this four meter chunk. I'm just thinking that the outside decoration is gonna be a lot easier if we stay in in even increments because then if we do anything with walls it's a little bit easier to work with not that we can't use the little walls but then these guys have different increments as well So that's generally why I think the six meter is so popular is because you can go in and out with ease. Although I think these now go up in one meter increments. One, two, three. Yeah, all right, so it doesn't really matter. We can have as much space down here as we want. But I think it might be worth 
rather than going with a thick ceiling like that, we just go with something like that. And I think that should be that should be adequate. So we'll go we'll do like a eight meter, but with the ceiling coming in. And that gives us a little bit of play if we need to. Alright. We're doing for sunlight in the middle of the day. I, I often follow the four meter height. Yeah, four, eight, 12, 16. Yeah, same. All right, folks, I need to take another break. Uh, I like to stick to these because I do like to stream satisfactorily for longer like periods, uh, four hours, sometimes even close to five. And uh, I definitely need to make sure that I'm getting a good stretch in, uh, as should you, if you've been sitting down with me for the last little while, then uh, please go get a snack, go get a drink, and we'll be back in about five or seven minutes.
Okay. Where were we? We were thinking about iron pipes. We were thinking about the blueprint designer. How's our production rate? Not that bad. So we're gonna go with that for a floor. So we'll just go with, I guess the one meter up here for now. And I'm gonna make five. Now we don't have a five meter designer yet i didn't see where that's unlocked is anybody is it in, was that in the next level somewhere or was it way up but way up uh up, up, um, tier six ed is at the end of tier six okay we're just gonna have to deal with deal with that so we'll make them at this level. Um, I'm going to need some help getting up higher here. Might be a chance to invest in some tickets. Eight tickets. Organization. Management. Oh, am I going to need any of these? I might need the wall poles. I might need the wall poles. Those might be handy. Uh, customizer. I don't know yet what I want to do for customization for this. We might have to really start to get some tickets. Uh, foundations. I do want to get the stairs. So that's what, four tickets? I'll worry about designing the outside after. This is what I'm thinking we need. Five for catwalks. Three for ladders. We'll probably go with ladders. I really wish I had more tickets at this stage. That would have been nice. That would have been nice. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? What can I put in this to get more tickets? Smart plates, which we need though. I'm trying to think about what part we have a decent amount of. Maybe the modular frames? Staters, not those, not those either. Let's go with that. I choose all oh, these. And whatever. We've got lost concrete. I'm not worried about that. So I at least need the ladder for now. Fun fact architecture was invented when people began building buildings. If it had been invented slightly beforehand, perhaps more old buildings would still be around. Humanity sometimes lacks vision.
So if we are going to put these guys in groups of five. I'd like to try to keep them on the foundations. I'm just debating whether I should do a group of five or whether I should just do a group of one and then hit that five times, but we'll do maybe five. And how do I want to do the ins and the outs? Um, I feel like in on the middle would make sense and then outs on the outside. I generally try to do these in the middle of the foundation. But it would make sense if we also thought about where the splitters and mergers are going to be down below. So we think about this and grab that. Grab my floor hole. And you go there. And then when we're down below, this just comes down like this. And then our, yeah. So that stays in the middle. That's lined up. Now you don't have to do it this way, but it does make things a little bit easier sometimes. This is why I wanted the ladder. So that's the right position for at least one of those. And then for five of them, three, four, five. And that's one, two, three. That's so like four, three and a half foundations, sort of. I'd like to do that a little bit nicer. definitely not something you can center on just one I don't think right tricky that's going outside the designer I didn't know you could do that I thought that was not allowed I think I've removed all screws from my factories. I took a very long time, right? Yeah. Um, stitched iron plates is what we're using. It, it's a huge difference. Early game stitched iron plates is one of the best things you can get. Uh, I could also unlock the half foundations. I don't know if I have those. No, I don't. That's fine. Um, how much are those? Half foundation sets are four tickets. We only got one ticket out of all of that. But still going. Okay. So I feel like I have to do them in bays of four foundations. I just have to find the middle. So then this guy has to be centered on the crease. Sometimes your early factories are designed based on what you have available. 
And that gives us about a foundation to walk between them if we need to. That's weird. that look even to you? Goes right up against the middle. Goes right up against the middle. So you could do it in three foundations? Maybe that's the best way to do it. And then I would be able to put one in between. Yeah, let's do that. And then we just need to make sure that they're centered the other way. So usually what I do with this is I lay down the foundations for the blueprint and then I eventually get rid of the foundations and then put the foundations in later based on the building. I think we used to get a bounding box around these and I kind of miss it because it would show you very closely like where the actual um, line is. So that goes up against the edge there, but then it's not up against the edge there. And I don't think... don't know if we have that right. That's outside the designer. Right. Let's just delete you and grab you instead. And then... So we can nudge it that way. I really wish that some of these buildings were designed to like fit tighter. They tend to overlap just like a little bit on both sides. So even the the half meter. So it's like it's like a quarter meter. Or it's a half meter longer. It's like eight and a half meters long is basically what they're telling me. And I guess we'll stick with more than likely what we'll see. I don't see myself using the middle as a path. I see myself walking around the outside of the building because this is the output. So we'll keep it like that. And then we just have to do the inputs and stuff below. First thing first, we do power. And that actually is going to be lined up. in this position.
I always am doing the power last, and I feel like it's a good thing to start with it. Because it tends to be really finicky. There's the power hooked up. I don't need that. And so I guess first we'll do the inputs. Uh, each one of these is going to need 30 per minute. But we're going to be splitting it probably with a bay of 10. So do iron. Copy the settings. all doing iron so then on the inside what we'll probably do is not include the splitter we may we may want to plan for the splitter at the bottom but not actually include it or I could move this over oh well, that's annoying I guess I could have moved this and started it more to the left. And then I could have fit more in here. We could have done bays of N instead of 5. Uh, but then the output wouldn't be... Well, that wouldn't matter. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Let's make the bay of five and then I can maybe blueprint the five into the ten rather than having to do it twice. That's probably the better the better idea. So then we've got floor holes that have to go in. That should be pretty straightforward. Also realizing I probably should have picked the colors before I did this, but I don't know if it's going to matter because I'm going to be able to use this down the line too. So I don't want it to be a specific color if I'm always going to change it. So the fact that it's our basic color is probably pretty good. We've not learned blueprint to use blueprints yet, so we need to practice some. Yeah, these are... Um, these are... <laughs> there's no coffee in that mug. Um, these are really, really handy. You'll see... Like, it's, it's some time investment, but then later on when you have to do smelters for other things like smelters for copper or smelters for caterium you can use the exact same thing you just load up your blueprint change all the recipes save it as a separate blueprint and then just bang you've got your 30 smelters ready to go right or however many you need i think this is where i had this one Yeah. We'll double check that. It's getting to the point now where this, the autosave makes me think that I have um, 
that I've got um, a crash coming. There's the output. That'll hook up to a merger down here, not a splitter. Can you replace these yet? Can. Sweet. So the input will actually, I mean, the input could be on, we've got all the space. So the input could be over here. The input could be over here. The plan is to do 15 of these in a row. And so it's not going to be efficient right off the start. So 15 times 30 is 450. So we need the 480 belt to really get those rolling. Uh, and then if I do 20, it's 300. So I can't even do that on one belt right now. So we'll plan to upgrade the belts later. So really, um, I'll probably split it not in three ways, but in at least in two. I like to do this thing where I can split a manifold, but you'll see that later. So one belt will do it, and... For the sake of space, we'll put this splitter on this side. And, hmm, that's the middle of the foundation. Where do I have that off? Oh, that's right. I never liked that look. They snap to the end like that, and it's never been my favorite thing. So that's the in and that's the out and the out is facing the wrong way. I want that to go in that direction. So this will be the iron ore coming in and it'll get sucked up into each one. It'll go out this side and go down and then it'll join up with that and it'll head out that way. We could do it in a way that we could see all this stuff, but for now I think we'll just do it under the floor. And now we just need to hook all these up down the line. They're a little tight together. Merger that way. Now imagine having to do this 30 times over rather than five. Uh, the output needs to be basically the fastest belts we have at the moment. Those are all Mark III belts. The input will also have to be the fastest belts we have at the moment. And this is why I want to give myself a lot of room because we're going to have to come back down here and upgrade it later. Do 
So we can very clearly see the power. We can clearly see the inputs and the outputs. Now this would be a great opportunity if I had all the other things unlocked in the awesome sink for a really good, um, oops, for a really good uh, design. The other thing you'd want to do is actually add the kind of things you want to add to the design here. Do I still have that Ironhide image? I think I might. Where did I put that? Nope, that's not it. Um, where did I put that? Map, added nodes. Did I change this one? No. One of these is going to be the right image. I guess not. Maybe I just brought it up on the web. But right, I can open it up in a browser. I can open it up in a browser window. Let's do that. Um, Devastator reference. Really? You won't let me open it with Chrome? That's annoying. Huh. All right. That's dumb. Uh, I guess I'll just switch out that other image. Make up a little bit bigger. So we're going to be using Ironhide, the Transformer Ironhide, for the Iron facility, which I thought was be kind of fitting. Uh, there's a lot of red, a lot of chrome, and I really like the glowy bits around his shoulders and his midsection. So I think what we'll do is try to plan something like that. If I had more unlocked, uh, as I said, I would probably try to create some sort of like grill or something in between these, maybe hide some of this. If we had, like I've got pillars, I think. Yeah, so I've got small concrete pillars, so I can do stuff like this in the blueprint. So if I wanted to like cover that up. I don't want to cover up these lights, but I thought it could be fun to have this maybe covered up a little bit. Maybe with a bigger one? No, that's going to be too much. So we can do something like that, whoops, and just maybe see, see what that looks like. And then what if I change this one to the big one? What does that look like down here? Oh, it can't be nudged when it's attached to the other thing. That's interesting. I guess it was snapping to the... Yeah, that doesn't really work, but that's not bad. 
for a start. And then we could add different... We don't really have any materials, but we could do... that, or we could do black. Um, I could also unlock the material, too. There is a way, too, if you go into the customizer and you change uh, this number, one of these. Is it this one? Yeah, so if you change the saturation, it goes like bright red. It's kind of hard to see in the dark here, but I go back and that was a thousand. Does a hundred do the same thing? Looks like yes. That's one. You do 10. See, it kind of overrides this. I think that's roughly the same. Yeah. So then if you wanted to change that to something more like a maroon, then before you increase the saturation, you can take it down to what you think is good. So like, say like a 20, 20%. And then you can take this up to 10. And it's a little darker? Not by much. So you have to kind of play around with it. So if you take this down to like maybe 05. It looks really dark here. But then you get kind of that maroon going on. Or vice versa, you could just take this all the way down black and then do this as a 10 and then you're going to get like a jet oh i thought you get a jet black there hold on did that not stick oh that didn't stick there we go now oh i thought you could I thought you could change that to be like super black maybe this can't be zero maybe this has to be like a point 0.1 now it's staying red. That's weird. Hmm. Maybe this has to go... Can this go negative? How do you get... Does anybody know how you get black... Concrete, if you wanted it. I'm too chaotic, hello. Welcome in. Ah, oh, so you're not having a great day, but I'm happy to be able to help. That's one of the nice things about being an entertainer is that people can just kind of come in and forget their worries and watch me struggle with paint swatches for hours. Um, start with coal. What if I took this to 1,000? That goes deep blue. And then it goes super blue. Okay. So, if I start with black. Unfortunately, it's just like a dark gray because it doesn't, that's not how concrete works. It works kind of like terracotta and. Minecraft. You just you don't get the color you think you're gonna get, which I find very infuriating. Um, could I do negative ten or negative ten here? There we go. So if I wanted to have black, matte black stuff. So 
So there is a difference between the shiny and the matte, which is kind of cool. Right? I do like that. Um, how did we... Default, matte, and shiny. That's default. And then matte. So there is a difference. You definitely tell the shiny one. And then there's the default and then the matte. The matte really looks like a like a fade in the background thing that you wouldn't want to see. What do we think? I kind of want to go with the shiny. I really want to cover these up with something. But I don't know what. I guess we could use like the half foundations or something. Could put some red lights on it. Yeah, totally. There's also going to be those red lights in the... Um, that actually happen with the smelter. Like if we go over here, some of my smelters are actually working. Oh, I thought they had a light on them. Maybe they don't? I thought they did. I thought this little thing lit up orange when they were going. Well, maybe it's my graphic settings. Am I not remembering that correctly? pipes. So I could do that and at least have that part of it done. And then we wouldn't have to worry about this side because it would all be kind of blocked from view. We like black or do we want to go with something more like a dark gray? I really need a slightly better UI, I think. That kind of looks cool. Having it all one color. But that was obviously the thing that was changing that was the bottom one. So if this goes to like a minus 
two or three. See so, you how know, it goes jet black, it doesn't really matter. Even minus one. Yeah, it's the same. So it's kind of like an off on you you can't really get I guess you could just go into as long as you don't go into the negative maybe you can do like a 0 0.0005 and that just ends up being light gray god that's a really annoying you've got like 50 percent gray or black and there's not really anything in between the gray on the machine looks the best yeah yeah i like the mat too um what could i put here though the problem with not having all the stuff unlocked right we have more tickets four nine total uh definitely want to get the stairs i feel like the half foundations are probably going to be a good a good thing to get one of these chrome finish these unpainted finish could be kind of cool too I feel like it's more like this kind of stuff that I want to get. Metal pillar. Beam. See, a beam would probably be exactly what I need to have this be the work. Oh, we could do one of those. That could be cool. Let's add that to the cart. So that's two. Hmm. Pixel Rifts with the raid. Let's get out of the menu. Let's get out of the menu. Welcome in, Pix. Thanks so much. Hold on a second here. Where can I go? Go up high. You're going to witness the spaghetti. Thanks for coming in, folks. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. We are, of course, playing Satisfactory, if you hadn't figured that out. Um, how was your stream picks? What were you up to? Was it a, an Elden Ring day or was it a Minecraft day? Tuesday. Chopping Tuesday? Uh, we get to see the factory? Yes, I'll switch over to and show you the factory. Just got finished with Elden Ring Co-op. Dinner time now. Have a great stream. I appreciate you got a raid and run. Have an excellent dinner. Thanks so much for dropping off your folks. Uh, that's amazing. Um, sensible, thanks for the follow. I really appreciate it. 196 people coming in on the raid uh folks in my chat if you do not already follow pixel riffs uh then please do you i'm sure you probably already do that because uh pix is the co-host uh and co-producer that i share the spawn chunks with uh, we just did a new episode yesterday that's available on youtube it's available on your favorite podcasting app uh and uh, we'll be doing another live presentation this monday no sorry this saturday the 28th with minecraft live that's going to happen uh, 2 o'clock for me. So that's uh, 10 a.m. Atlantic. No, 10 a.m. Pacific time in the U.S. Um, for anybody that's looking. Um, San, Rock Giant, hello. Ulankol, hey, I know you. Welcome in. Um, Red Mako, hello. Thanks for coming in and saying hi. Uh, thanks for the follows, folks. I really appreciate it. Um, again, there should be a little heart in chat for anybody that's in my chat that has not yet followed Pixarus. Please go ahead and do that. That was probably a double stream today. Probably some Minecraft followed by some Elden Ring with Zloy XP. I believe that's who they're co-oping with. But um, we'll switch over and show you the factory. Uh, but once again, welcome in. So, so far, 
Uh, what we've got here is our central storage, which is going to be temporary and um, moved soon. We are making some steel bits, uh, working on some um, versatile framework, which you can see in the top right hand corner of the screen, some of our objective parts that we're making. We're making smart plating over there. All of this is just basically to make the smart plating and the versatile framework. And then we have a little bit of odds and ends happening over here, which is just some cable and some wire and some copper just to kind of keep us going. This weird chunk in the middle here is actually the plan for the building that's going to go here. You can see a little bit of the outline here uh, where I'm planning on like a, a seven wide or a nine wide build. And then we're going to run um, machines up the middle of it. And over here on the blueprint designer, which I'll go down and show you can't really see from up here. So what we're doing here is putting together the production floor of the smelters. We have to do 30 smelters, so I thought it would be good to use the blueprint designer so I only have to do this five once, and then after it's all done, uh, we can move on. So right now we are just kind of putting something in between here, and I think we're gonna go with the black for now. I'm debating whether I should decorate this now or whether I should wait until I have more parts. But when when you guys raided, we were in the awesome shop looking to unlock a few different things. So I've got nine tickets. Uh, these are things you get from sinking items that you make. And uh, we are going to unlock a few things. I, some of the stuff is expensive though, so I feel like maybe the frame would be good. Beam is expensive. These are good. I think those are in my cart. Foundations. I feel like I want to get the half foundations in the stairs. I feel like the half foundations are going to be really handy. I've used those before. Not so much worried about those. Those are all expensive. Steel wall, concrete wall. Not worried about external. I'm thinking about internal stuff. Okay, let's go with to get those that's four five tickets left I can go catwalk I can go beam Do foundations or I could do stairs and something else. Quarter foundations might be cool too. I like the dark black too, sweet Sandy. Could do metal pillar. That get us to six. We got three tickets left. I feel like I might want to get the half foundations instead. Let's do foundations and then I'll get. I feel like we're going to need those at some point. So we'll get one little bit of logistics. That's 11. So I'm going to drop something. That's a number two. And it's probably going to be this. So we'll get those. So that gives me a little bit more freedom up here. If I wanted to block this in, 
I could use like a half foundation now. So I could grab a half foundation here. And just do something like that. I don't know, do we want to see the little, little bits? Oops, fell right off. Been a while since I've seen this game, says Red Mako. Lots of changes since a few years ago. Yeah, tons. A lot. Like a lot, a lot. Uh, I don't particularly like that. Um, I really want to cover that up. But maybe what we could do is use the architecture stuff we just picked up. We've got these new pillars now, and then we've got these little barriers. Uh, I think that's the ticket. Right? I feel like that's what we need to do. And then we can make that whatever color we want. So we can change that to like black if we wanted. We could change that to... I also know a trick with a sign and a light that we could use in there too. But it's really just the bottom of it that changes. So we could change that to maybe like a red could do our kind of default I think that looks that looks all right for like a first go that looks all right and then do we you like the matte black I think we said we like the matte black on this And to get that, it was did it go to like minus one here? That didn't change at all. Yeah, it is. Okay, it's a little bit different. I think I like the default. And the missed an hour mark is now five minutes past. Thanks very much. Uh, we'll stick around just a little bit because of the new people that came in with the raid, but I'll take a break soon. Thanks, Sandy. Uh, so let's go with um, Matt there. Yep, I think you're right. I think we go with Matt. I'll get rid of that. And now I just have to do this a couple more places. Don't remember exactly where that was. I backed it up until it almost touches. Those are wrong. Too far forward. That's better.
think that's going to look pretty cool. Uh, you can still see through the sides here, but that's that might be not something that's all that important. Then we just put these in here. Again, I really wish they would show us the hitboxes they used to. I think that looks alright. And then we'll worry about what's happening with the ceiling when I know how big the building is going to be. Um, I think it would be nice to have something here to block stuff, but I don't have any beams. How much were beams? Maybe I can get some tickets somehow. Four tickets for beams. Seems a little ways off. Well, one thing I should do is probably get this saved, so at least we have something we're not going to lose. So I delete that, and I guess I'll keep the concrete in it for now. Don't need the ladders, it's no good. So we have the fastest belts we own going down the middle for all of those. Everything else should be good. I think we're okay. So for this, we'll do uh, iron smelters five up. We'll do uh, low. Maybe we'll change this to Ironhide. Select the icon, we'll do Smelter. Select the color, let's go with... Uh, do we have a darker one? I'll go with 40% red. And we'll set the directory. We'll need a new directory. Add a category. This is going to be production. Select an icon. Factory. Apply. Subcategory. We'll call the subcategory. Smelting. And add the blueprint here. Apply the changes. And then save blueprint. So now, for anybody that just came in, Imagine if you could do this with redstone in Minecraft. So previously, if we wanted to make smelter, you'd have to make one at a time and you would have to belt it all up and do that manually. Now, in our blueprints, we can choose this and build this whole thing. And I can build this six times and get my 30 smelters and then just hook them all up. So that's what's next. First, though, I'm going to load up this manufacturer, or no, sorry, this um, this guy here with stators and rotors, and we're going to make some motors. So let's switch you out. We'll go, I guess I should probably take those out and take those out. And then we'll put... I guess I'll just switch out the recipe motors. Put the stators there, maybe not all of them, and I'll put more rotors up there. And then I just have to clear the belts.
Oh, that cleared. Did that clear the belts? Oh wow. Nope. This one still has. That was just a luck, a lucky timing thing there. We still there was one cable still stuck in the, in the input here. Once I see this is going, we should be good. Yep. Oh, that's pipes. And that's got pipes in it. Right. Okay. It was not lucky timing at all. Now it should be going. You can do it with create mod? Oh, that's cool. I want to make sure that this is getting some rotors. There we go. First motors being built. Nice. We knew those need those for our next tier. So um, now I will give myself a little bit of a break. And uh, you get to watch the factory go. I get to grab another cup of coffee and maybe let a friend know with everybody that just came in with Pixar's Raid. Um, I'm really happy that you're here. If you've got a friend that you think might like my stream or like this game, then uh, give them a shout. Let them know. Uh, there's a tweet out there, Joel Duggan on Twitter. I will be back in about five or seven minutes.
Okay. So we need to put this in place and start to map out where it's actually going to be. I may need to build another one of these towers here. Do I have enough for that? Let's edit this and go with um, I'm missing some rotors. Easy enough. Maybe I'll put another platform back here. Just while we're constructing everything. Feel like that's probably going to be high enough. Oh, that should be pretty good. Yeah. So we're thinking that this is going to be the middle. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I feel like that's probably the middle down here. What I'd like to do is maybe extend this just a little bit and see if we can actually figure out where the edges of this space are. It's gonna look like crap for a second. Now I don't know if that's far enough to the left. And I didn't add any power up here, that was dumb. Uh, oh good. So, I think we were a little bit too far to the left over here. Yeah, so we need to go back a little bit. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, this is not... That's not far enough to go out. I'd say that's... This is probably our edge here. That's the edge of the actual biome space. And then over here, how did I do? Oh. I would say maybe just one too far here because of this silly little rock. But if we don't build right by the rock, then we could start over on there. Hmm. I'd say that's the I would say that that's the max in terms of the space. So just figure out what this is. Sixteen. So the middle would be eight. One, two, three. Two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So if we wanted to nudge the middle of this, we could nudge it a little bit back and forth. So that's pretty close to the middle. Uh, technically, the middle would be... there. So I feel like that original, this position here that we've marked out, what am I doing? There. That is probably close enough to the middle. Uh, plus we'd want to have a little bit of extra room because of these rocks. So I'd say that's this is probably good for our middle. So the next question is, where do we want the actual building to start? So all of these smelters are going to be in this space. And I really just need enough room down here to belt everything up. And I only need to do it on three belts. So I really don't need a lot of space. We could start it anywhere here. So it's just a matter of where, oops, where we want the building to start as far as this distance is concerned. And we also know that because of the blueprint size, that we're going to need three of those down this way, right? Plus some space in between. So it's a fairly long blueprint. Maybe what we should do is just kind of like place them down and see where they go. Because now that we know where the middle is, we can sort of start to map things out. And I can pick the height for it as well. I think this is our starting height. I may actually have to go down and see if I have to go any higher. All right, these rocks. We may have to start another foundation higher. Yep, for the sake of my sanity, we may want to do that. That means that that is actually the right height for where the building is going to be. That's cool. That gives us some cool decoration opportunities outside. do have a limit here, unfortunately, and I would say it's probably here. Can I fit all of them in here? That's another good question. They take up four foundations, and we need to do three of them, so there's at least 12 plus whatever this is. So there's our 12 plus another 3. Doable. I think that's more than doable. So we can either... We can nudge this back a little bit farther. So really the thing to do is to figure out what, how much space we want away from this rock. And I would say we want 1, 2, probably there. So I'd say this is our edge. So that's the edge here. Penguins wearing tuxedos. That's a great username. Welcome in. Uh, the run's going pretty well. We're just about to... We just unlocked phase two. I should have enough motors now to unlock um, my jetpack, now that you mention it. We do. And excellent. Need more cable. And more plates. Uh, 
For anybody that's hanging out with uh, the crowd since they came in with the Pixel Rifts raid, this might be your first time. Milestone reached. Fixit has granted you the power of flight, provided you have a jetpack and the appropriate fuels. The jetpack refuels automatically while you are standing on a surface, and different fuel types will affect the jetpack's functionality. With this increased versatility, you will no doubt achieve efficiency levels previously unheard of. Yay for jetpacks. Uh, next thing we need to do is logistics. And we can do a lot of that quite quickly. Uh, so I think encased beams are what I need to make now. And I need to find rubber. So we can stop you. Encased industrial beams. motors that's good some of those we could probably put into this into the awesome sink for decoration that would be cool too that's just going to fill back up looks like an engineer's happy place a dab you are not wrong i know a lot of engineers um play the game from what i've seen and heard in different uh, areas so now we can make a jetpack and i don't know if this takes um fuel only or can we use like biofuel like how do we what can we do so now that i've got a jetpack i can put that on my back and it is automatically going to use biofuel cool i can prefer what if i want to use coal because i am bringing in an, uh, an awful lot of coal that i don't need at the moment this is probably just brimming yeah one, two, three, four. Can I switch that? I want to switch that. Oh no. It's not a coal jetpack. That's no good. I guess we have to make biofuel again. Levels of efficiency doesn't say. So it's just, let's just look it up on the wiki. Must be just biofuel. Fuel, solid biofuel, packaged fuel, turbo fuel, packaged liquid biofuel, rocket fuel. Yep, okay, fair enough. I'd rather have it than not. I'd rather have it than not. So this allows us to fly a little bit. Which is cool. So I think I said that this was going to be the right height. We have to start the floor here. So now I just have to decide where we want to start everything. And... I guess the easiest way to do this is just going to be mark out some places. I feel like I'm going to want more than one foundation. So let's just go with two here. And then we do production will be, let's say, red. One, two, three, four. Space to walk. Oops. One, two, three, four. Uh-oh. Space to walk. And then this goes right up against there, so that's not what I want. Okay. So we have to bump this all down by one. Uh, there. So 
so that's not a lot of space. One, two, three, four. Let's choose a different color. There we go. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, five. And that's the edge. That's tight. Did not anticipate it being that tight. So for anybody wondering what we're doing, that blueprint will fit in this space. In terms of its its width, so it takes up the exact amount. Oh, no. It's three, not four. Three and a half? How did I get that wrong? The blueprint designer lied to me. Maybe I just centered it on the four? Hold on. And this is why the jetpack is handy. Ah, I don't need those bits of space. I can center it and then use the stuff in between. Right, 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 right. So the blueprint is actually three foundations long. That's good. That makes me more comfortable. Yeah, it's only three by, it's only three by two. Okay. So we don't need four, we need three. That's much nicer. So we can do two, one, two, three, and then one, one, two, three, and then one here. Turn on my light, and then One, two, three, and then we have lots of room. Excellent. Okay. I think that's probably a good. I feel like I could nudge it a little bit farther. But I think we're good. Yep. Uh, and then as far as the width goes, I should probably switch this to these smaller foundations here. As far as the width goes, we put the blueprint down we know that it's going to go in this space here is that right no i have backwards 80 more wires and i have access to phase three nice very cool I'm not sure why this has such a high hitbox, but... So this also doesn't need to be there. This could actually be all the way over to here. Nudge exceeds maximum distance. So really, this would be the edge. Here, which I think is where we were before. Now we're one over. 
One, two, three, four. From here. Two, three, four. So it's there. That should be how this is going to look. So we should be able to use the blueprint. Put it in this space. want this to be say it makes sense to have those foundations line up and then we would just flip it and place it in the other direction and since that's locked there we'll have a little bit of space there. This is actually going to be there. So there'll be a little bit of space between the machines to walk. Um, can you explain what this is exactly? Uh, no, it's not a load balancer. It's a, um, it's a manifold. So iron will go in or smelted ingots and then go out. And we just need to do 30 of these. So I need wire and concrete and a bunch of other stuff. So I'm just gonna leave that locked. I'm gonna back up and see if I can get over here. It should stay locked. I just wanna get... Um, Oh, it's so nice to have a jetpack. And we can get rubber pretty quickly. Uh, it's not going to happen today, but... Oh, it disappeared. That's annoying. I guess I, I'm out of range. Yeah, okay. I think I'm pretty solid with being able to place this down now. I just need to remove the, the um, concrete from it. At least for now. We're going to use the outer edge, I think. And then we'll do the other stuff on our own. Yeah, okay. So I just have to make a small tweak here. Because I may want to line up the foundations a different way. So, um, rather than have these here, I feel like that's actually a decent center point. I may want to butt those up against each other. That's going to be a good walking space, I think, the outside. So that's the thing I want to line up to the grid. So I'm going to remove these. I think. You can put these all back in later. It just helps to line everything up that way now. So I hit save. And now what I really need to do is just um, 
get my inventory so I can go in here and grab my blueprint. See, it moved it. Because I updated it, it moved it to a different category, which is really annoying. And and it's not it's not letting me move it. Like, why? There's a couple of UI things that are really problematic here. Cancel. Yeah, they need better UI feedback, I think. So you can add your blueprint to your to-do list on the right-hand side of the screen, and it tells you the stuff that you're not holding that you need. now at least because we know where it's going to start and we know that this is going to be the floor level I can come out here and do I guess we'll keep these small ones So now I should be able to place this. And nudge it into place. that's the um, the coordinates or the, the area that I want to put this in so I'll grab this and you'll see now it, it'll just it'll be white if it's clear and it'll be green if it's encroaching on the foundations but that doesn't matter because we've got the foundations at the correct height or where they should be at the correct height and so what I was thinking of is having it be um, tight like that right so you can see that it's a little bit backwards, but um, if I did that, then the florals would all be in the right spot. Uh, it looks like things are in the right. My floor holes are not showing up, which is strange. I'm not sure if that's a bug. Does anybody know if that's a bug? Mark three is blueprints uh, is unlocked in tier nine. Yeah, it's a, they're a long way away. So what I'm thinking is if, if I could have this back to back, um, the floor holes might not be just rendering in the in the preview. They might come in in the end. But that means that we don't have to like we've got extra extra space. Like I really don't have to worry about being too far over here at all. And I kind of like that idea. Because uh, I don't really think that this is going to be much in the middle. 
So that means that we have like a full foundation here and then another two. And it would be the same thing on this other side. So just for the sake of argument, this is coming in the right way. I'll place this down. See what it looks like. Floor holes. Yeah, okay, so the floor holes just they just weren't showing up in the in the preview, but they are there. See now you can come in here with your own foundations, and if you wanted to, you didn't you don't have to make them line up. Like you could you could nudge them around, you can do whatever you want. And so it's cool to use the blueprints to build. Um, because you need you need that depth of what your floor is gonna be. So whatever your floor is gonna be, include that in your blueprint, and then you can get rid of it later. And it makes this a lot easier. And see now I can come over here. And even though we've got stuff in the way, this this won't let us do it, I don't think. Right? But I could turn this around. Actually, that's another point. I guess I have to make this the other way. This is like left facing and right facing. So if I wanted to mirror this, then these are facing the wrong direction. But for aesthetics and showing you right now, what I would want to do is this. So, right, so these butt up against each other. There's still lots of room down there for stuff. And then we have the same thing where we have this finishes up like just over the edge of something. Just like this does. And then we have all this space. But I have to reverse the um, the belts. So I have to do like a left and a right for that. But I think that that's pretty good. Um, did I... I didn't put it in the right spot this way, I don't think. Don't remember. No, I didn't center that on three. That's fine. So, love, love that we can just delete the whole bl blueprint. So cool. Uh, we can do put that back again, and I can get in here and flip it, and then lock it. And then we can center it this way. That is right up to the edge. And then right up to the edge. So that is where we would want it. Cool. Unfortunately, it's going to ransack our current production. So we are, as we build out our iron again, we are going to basically come to a grinding halt on all the stuff that we're actually building. Old man shorty, hello. Are we winning today? We are winning today. Yep, we have jetpack. Jetpack is unlocked. Uh, we need to go get some rubber uh, to unlock the rest of that stuff. But I think we're doing okay. We actually, how far did we get on these versatile frameworks? Not bad. Not bad. We gotta get up to 2500, which is a little bit bananas. And this, I'm glad I checked, needs another bin. use those. That's got to go into the adaptive control unit, I think. I'm going out to dinner and in a movie. So yes, there will be some, some rewards involved for sure. So we do need that space then. That one block. Right. So this is going to ransack basically all of this. 
We don't need this level, though. So I feel like it's probably a good idea to start to take this out. Unfortunately, I'm definitely going to have to move my storage. Oh, I missed. Autosave screwed me up. Yeah. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I guess we just have to pause. Pause the production. We can get iron back up and running once we have some smelting going. Is the hard part. The tear down pause that happens. Alright. Let's make a call here. Let's get up high. Make a call. Bad pioneer always blames their autosave. Nice. Yeah, this is going to be a tight little building, actually. I think it'll be okay. Unfortunately, the storage is in the way. Who earns? Well, let's start by, I think, moving a lot of our logistics and stuff over... The hub can stay there, but I think I need to expand this little section here. Make sure that we're well outside of the edge of the build. So we'll give, we'll call that, call that our zone where we have to be outside of it. So. Build our logistics outside here. So we can move a bunch of this stuff into that area. one bin taken care of. And let's just change all this to blue. So I'm not confused with this going on. Uh, we will move the awesome shop. Oh, that's the my little hub area there. Maybe we'll put this over here. Oh, again, happy to have, happy to have the jetpack. Uh, thanks very much, Sandy. Appreciate that. Jetpack obtained, instantly unlocked. Absolutely, yeah. You go straight forward, right? I agree. So how would we... I think the only thing that would have to happen for this would be switching the direction of the splitters and the mergers. So for this, I have to go... Um, which way is this technically? 
this is the little arrow. So this is, I'd say, left. So five up, left. Oops. And then the five up right, we would have to switch. And that's fine. Give me one second, folks. Figure out what's next. All right, cool. I got some little extra time. That's good because I'd like to. I'd like to end this stream uh, in a better spot. So let's move the hub. I guess what I should do is, um, before I clear the designer, I should probably do the rotations on these. Unfortunately, it's going to mean putting all these back again. So let's just quickly... All right, let's save this as... Right, and then save the blueprint. And so now we should have a left and a right. Five up right, five up left. Okay, cool. We are currently right. Escape sometimes gets out of a menu and sometimes it doesn't. Which is really annoying. Now, unfortunately, I think we have to do the um, elevators again, too. Lifts is what I meant to say. For me, it may or may not be a thing you have to redo, but just the knowledge of hearing that little chime. I think is worth it. It's really just a five minute switch, right? So this is coming in from the other way. save confirm 
Yeah, so escape doesn't do what you want it to do in that menu. Uh, and then if we go down this other end, we should be able to get a hologram down just to look at. So I can do the same thing here. I can grab the five up right. And so now when I turn this this way, so now you can see the inputs are on the left hand side here. So when I lock that hologram, we've got it at the right depth. I can line it up here. And then we've got the goods being input from that side and then exporting on that side, which I think is what the other one does too. Yeah, yeah, you can see the arrows. That's why I wanted to do two. So uh, how close are we to, am I gonna just like go right over my storage? Oh, that's... <laughs> I sort of have to move the storage. I sort of don't. Oh, yeah. That's not going to work. I can get two of these in, but after that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to muck around. All right. That's annoying. So I'm not going to be able to, to add it all today. Um, however... We can. I think we put that down to look better. And where did I want to put the edge of the building? Probably there. Clear some of this out of the way. Move my tractor. Raven Trickster, it goes well. We got a lot done today. A lot of stuff has been unlocked for us, which is great. And I think maybe I'll just not have this in the hub. Maybe we'll move this to a new location. I think the hub is going to have to move. Not sure why I was going to give me iron ore. That's strange. Oh, I need iron ore to make it. Whoops. Huh. That's funny. I didn't realize it would cost 20 iron ore. All right. That's kind of strange. I would have thought it would have been plates or something. I guess I just didn't remember. Uh, let's put it, I guess, back here. And we'll make the thing take off from this side. Because we don't need the biomass stuff.
Beautiful. And then I can move the ma'am. Nope, that's the equipment. Let's move the ma'am. And I'll move the bench. This is probably going to be a better layout anyway. Put the awesome shop next to the awesome sink. Or maybe not. That's annoying. All right. Um, weird. Worry about that later. So minimal use of the equipment bench and basically no use of the crafting bench. Um, what? I don't know what you mean. I'm just moving everything close together. I, I don't really think too much about what I'm doing. I use the MAM a lot more than anything else. Might as well leave that in there too. This stuff. Oh. What's in there? Sulfur. Don't need all the coal. shards. Actually, I might need those. Um, I think that's all the stuff that was in there before. This stuff to unlock different research in the MAM, minus, of course, the sulfur. And then those are empty, and that's fine. That can go now. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll just put the awesome shop right here. Sure. Yeah, we don't use the equipment workbench very much. This can stay. That's all fine. Invalid placement. Oh. What? Oh, this is in the way. Thanks, Sandy. I gotta wrap it up soon. Uh, if you have anybody that we can recommend uh, for a satisfactory raid, I'd be happy to pass you along. If Total Eclipse is still live, they are probably ending soon. So it'd be good to send you along to somebody that's going to be live for a little while. And this is just backtracking that. That's good. And that is not in the way, anyway, of our building.
see how we're looking. Sort of slowly inching our little base of operations away from the build. So this is sort of going to give you a look at what this is going to look like in terms of the scale. And then I just have to connect that up down the other end. Oh, the freedom of having a jetpack, even if it is biofuel. I am on board. So I've got one and a bit on either side. This is very roomy. You don't need to make it this roomy. I don't think. Uh, and then this is going to be a little bit longer here. So I think just for illustration, I'll put in some walls just to quickly kind of illustrate where I think it might be. Um, from a... Yeah, let's go here. My camera's... Oh, my camera's frozen. That's weird. Um, I don't remember how to fix that. I think I just switched the input. There we go. Weird. I don't know why that happens. And it doesn't it doesn't kind of give me any indication. Um and I don't think it's a camera thing. I think it's I think it's a OBS thing. Or a cam link thing, maybe. Does anybody know if that's a common thing with cam link 4K? See you later, Snuggly Bear. Snuggly Boo Bear, sorry, full name. Uh, appreciate you being here. Always fun to see you. Those are really bright red. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, well, you're going to definitely see the footprint as intended, right? So you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, I don't think I need to do quite this much. This is probably going to be where the depth of the design happens. I think the interior space is probably going to be... Like, this would be the inside of the floor here that you'd walk down. And then this is going to be for depth and windows and things like that. And by the time we do that, we're probably going to unlock um, half foundations. But it gives us a lot of room uh, over here. I shouldn't say a lot. It gives us some room over here. And I think it gives us a lot more room over here. There's a lot of room there for, like, trucks or things to go by. So I feel like that's probably a good spot for it. I don't think I'd want to nudge it too far in the other direction. Um, I think it looks good. It's just that rock there does give a bit of a strange tight feeling, even though this edge is pretty far away. I wish there were some things that we could do about rocks like that. I, I don't think we can blow those up, and I really wish we could sometimes. Um, anyway. Um, so imagine six more of those so there's going to be 15 down this side and 15 down that side and that's going to be our our smelting uh, area uh, and then from there we're going to send things over to probably a larger factory in this space that's going to do plates and rods and uh, all the different things that we need to be done uh, and we could also potentially add another floor and smelt our copper in this place as well or use the same blueprint change the recipe and give ourselves a little copper smelting facility up there. 
And that could be something worth doing as well. We also have some iron if we wanted to take it up, although it's not really worth it at that point. Um, one thing that might be fun is if we were making things that were copper related, we could use the iron wire recipe for this stuff. So I'm probably not going to use all of this iron right away. We'll have to see. But the main thing over here is going to be the, the, the building that gives us our storage. That's going to be the main crux of what's happening over here when we get there. Uh, but pretty good. We've unlocked phase three. We are currently working on phase three. And uh, the next thing we will have to do is to manually get some rubber and plastic going. And I think, can I scan for that yet? No, I've got to unlock that, I think. So I do know there's some in the blue crater, which is like that way, I think, in general. Uh, and there's also... Yeah, so there's oil over here. And there's also oil over here. This, I feel like this is farther, but it's flatter and easier to get to. So this might be a really easy spot to just go get a quick oil node and work on something from there. Uh, we could actually, if we ended up getting any needing any power over here, pulling it from our coal power would be pretty easy as well because we've got this little um, path that goes through here. So that's probably what we're gonna do is branch out to the uh, to the west uh, and grab some oil next time. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks very much for hanging out, folks. If you want to follow me on uh, social media, it's at Joel Duggan. I'm very easy to find. Uh, you can check out the new Spawn Chunks episode that came out yesterday, and that's available on YouTube as well as on your favorite podcast app. All of these VODs, all of the archive for what I do is also available on YouTube. That's Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. If you're going to watch them there, I really appreciate it because I do get some ad revenue from that. Uh, you can uh, check out the playlist. I've got a playlist for this playthrough. I also have a playlist for all of my satisfactory in 2024 as well as 2023. So you can kind of go and pick and choose. I also label the thumbnails pretty well. So if it's a Metroplex or a Devastator or a Cybertron kind of theme, then you'll know what you're getting into. Uh, you can check out Patreon at patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's a great way to support me and your other favorite creators if they also have Patreons. Uh, and uh, do check out the subscription um, sale this month on Twitch. It's 25% off for tier one. Uh, both Patreon and Twitch, depending on how you like to support, they all lead to my Discord. So if you prefer Patreon or prefer Twitch, then you'll still get access to the community. We can all hang out in between streams. I really appreciate the support. Sweet Sandy, thank you ever so much for the moderation. Uh, I, uh, I really couldn't do it without you. Uh, and thanks to all the regulars. It's always great to hang out with you for the afternoon and just kind of chill out, talk about Satisfactory. Uh, always good to see you, Obu, Dan, uh, Zero. A lot of people have gone to bed. A lot of the, the British folks are are gone to bed. Sandy, you're up late. My goodness. Um, anyway, thanks again. I'm going to pass you along to somebody else playing Satisfactory. Let's see who's live at the moment. And uh, hopefully you will enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Who do we got? Who do we got? Who do we got? Uh, I see Joe Hills is playing Satisfactory. Total is still live, although they are probably not live for much longer. Although they go to maybe 10 or 10.30. Hypnozoid. You know what? Let's do Total Eclipse. I know that that's a safe raid and you'll have a good time there. So we'll pass you on to Total Eclipse. Uh, I have to raid and run because I've got plans, but I will see you all tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel or more satisfactory. One o'clock Atlantic, that's UTC minus four hours. So uh, thanks again. Bye for now.